Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm here at a place called Ardenwood Farm, which is basically like a big farm here in the Bay. And every fall they have really fun activities. It's kind of like a little festival fair sort of thing. And they have corn picking, pumpkin patches, mazes, all that. And so today I'm here with Chris and hey. we're gonna just do a little vlog for you guys. So I hope you enjoy. So just for fun, my outfit of the day is this cute little lace up top in a sort of rusty-ish color. I wish it was a bodysuit, but it's not. So I've tucked it into my leggings here and I've tied a little jean jacket around the waist got my vans got my little Michael Kors bag and yeah oh some hoop earrings and that's it and he is in this cute little oh black shirt some jeans some shoes what kind of shoes are those white shoes <laughs> <laughs> and his little glasses his little hat like a Jew okay let's go <laughs> oh is that a blacksmith Ooh. Kind of went back when people were changing from using wood dowels to fix their houses to when they um, switched to the square nails. It was a very expensive thing to do so. The story is is that if they had built their house out of the, the square nails and they wanted to move, they would just burn down the house, collect the nails, and then go to the next place because wood was cheap and the nails were expensive. Why do you have black on your hands? My hands are going to be black until the day I die. That was so cool, wasn't it? Yeah, that was, that was cool. <laughs> he actually ended up giving us that nail, so yay, go us. Ooh. Oh, look how cute they are. Oh, hi. <laughs> oh my god, you called him over. <laughs> oh, oh you're going to nick me, you little... Hi, dear. Oh, you're so cute. You got a nice little goat head. Are you gonna eat that whole thing? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Do you want some? Can I just like set this? Actually, I can set it. So we got a little hungry, and we're gonna eat. He's got his little Trader Joe's salad, and I've got this orzo mix that I love. You guys should really check it out. It's honestly the best. Mm. Mm. Salad game. So we've got this little itinerary of things to do. It looks like there is a house tour of the Patterson house. That's like the main house of the people that used to own this property. It's really nice during Christmas time. So I think if I end up doing Vlogmas, I might show you guys that. They also have cider pressing, some music, some face painting, wood stove cooking, corn husk doll making. I'm such a professional at those. I've been making corn husk dolls since I was like, what, two? Really? Yeah. Never done it. I will show you the way. They have ice cream making. Oh, and of course the cornfield right here where we're gonna go corn picking later. Okay, well we're just gonna finish up eating and then take you guys along. Ooh, look at the gardens, guys. Oh my gosh, you remind me so much of Java. Aww. This garden is so pretty. It's like Sephora for me. We've got a white rose in the shade white. We've got another rose over here in the shade orange peach like i guess peach. it's peach we've got another rose here in the shade magenta oh my gosh and this rose over here in the shade what shade is this pink <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh so wholesome i love it imagine living in that back in the day that's a really nice estate. So this is the Patterson house. It's absolutely amazing during the Christmas time, like I mentioned. Hopefully they have a tour that we can go on because that'd be really cool. All right, come on in over here. Wow. Just don't walk through the house and wander the whole All right, so this is the guest parlor. And the uh, so two things I talked about on the tour are the family and the house. So Jupiter Washington Patterson, uh, he and Mr. Holly, H-A-W-L-E-Y, came from uh, Indiana with a group of men that were going during the gold rush. They were gonna make it big. They'd been here and there was gold nuggets just laying on the streets. You could put them in your pocket. 
Yeah, they found out that didn't happen. They realized they needed to do something different. So he went back to what he knew, which was construction. He went back to what he knew, which was farming. So he shared crop for a while. He rented land from a landlord, and then they shared the crops. And so the money that he made, he was able to buy land. Over the years, 2,500 acres in this area. Um, so he realized that, you know, he's making some money here. He's uh, And he, he realized how much he cared about Clara, Mr. Holly's daughter. Uh, and uh, yeah, they got married. So he was 55. She was 24. Now we can look at it and go, oh my goodness, that's. But you know, that's looking at it with 2019 lenses, right? I mean, if we really think about it, girls were getting married before they were 18. They were like you know, 15, 16, yeah. 17 getting married, so they could have children, lots of children. She actually held out. She went to high school. She put herself through college. She was teaching, so she had a profession and everything. So she was this close to being a spinster and old maid. She, I mean, she couldn't really have been almost allowed to be married as an older woman of 25. So really? she kind of she kind of had to hedge her bets. I think she thought, well, this guy, I've known him my whole life. I've cared about him. He cares about me. You know, what the hey. 55 was actually the average lifespan for a man. Really? Yeah. So uh -huh. um, they made it to, uh, he was in his late, uh, mid-70s. This was the early 19... No, oh, we're talking 1870s, okay. 1870s. Yeah. So they had two boys. So she uh, had... Uh, they had Henry and William. Um, William was four years older or four years younger than Henry, although he, they look real similar in age. Also, it doesn't sound like that big of a deal, but it is. And that is this mirror. People would have come from miles around just to look at this mirror. It would have been so special. Uh, you know, now you're going to the mall and it's at, you know, Old Navy. What's the big deal? But yeah. they didn't have things like this. And uh, it took a lot, it cost a lot. And it lasted through the 1906 earthquake as well as That's 1989. Wow. So this is a really old mirror. It is a really old <laughs> It seems like commonplace and yet at that time it was a big, very big deal. Over here we have an exhibit showing you about Clara's trip to Japan. She actually went to Japan I believe a couple times and then she also went to the 1915 World's Fair in San Francisco where she bought the tea house from Japan, their, their consul building. And she was having it renovated uh, by Julia Morgan, very famous architect. Wow. This is original wallpaper from 1889. It's pretty neat to see it, even if it's kind of beat up. It's kind of neat to know that it's super artistic. Yeah, isn't it though? Yeah. Now, if it was green, I would tell you not to lick it. And the reason is because back in those days, women would wear gorgeous green dresses, you know, beautiful emerald green. They were dyed with arsenic. Arsenic actually was completely poisonous, and if you wear it, it would cause body sores. It could actually kill people. So here for fashion, they're wearing these fancy green ballrooms, but underneath it, their skin's all getting all oh God. eaten up, and yeah, it's totally gross. They're basically getting poisoned for fashion. They had button hook shoes. They were expecting women to be wearing these corset type jobbies, you know, make a very small middle part. Part that's really amazing is that they must have looked a lot like insects. They had the middle, <laughs> the, in yeah. the abdomen, and then they had this bustle in the back with fabric over, you know, I mean, big dress. Yeah. Now, why would you do that? Why would you have something that involved a lot of extra fabric? The same reason why these drapes pooled at the bottom here with fabric. Why do you think that would be? Um, to show wealth? That's exactly the right answer. <laughs> cool. I'm very impressed. Yes, to show that you could afford the extra fabric. So yeah, so if women had, I can afford the extra, see, see, I can't afford the extra fabric. I don't have the bustle, <laughs> right? But, but that's exactly right. Yeah, a lot of people, they don't get that. Well, guys had it easier. They ended up just wearing like a, a collarless shirt with a button in the back. All men had to do was bring starched collars with them when they traveled. And as long as they had a starched collar, they were good to go. What do you think is in here? What would make sense? Powder? That would oh. seem like that would make sense, right? But yeah, it's a hair receiver. <laughs> now why the heck would they have hair? Oh, didn't they make art out of it? We're gonna see that in a little while. Right. Very good, impressive. Uh, but also, I hate to break the news to you, but ladies kind of fake you out uh, when, they're, when they're getting their hair like done in like updos and all yeah. this stuff. So I have like, extensions in, so I come <laughs> they're sticking foam in there. I mean, there's just all kinds of uh, smoke and mirrors. What they did back in the day was they took kind of the equivalent of a scrunchie and they stuffed it full of their own hair. So they made kind of a hair donut. And then they would put it, pile their hair around it and then put the hat on and stick a hat pin. So they'd have this big pile of luxurious hair. It just wasn't all living hair at the yeah. same time. But it looked good. Yeah. Headboard. Yeah. It's it insane. Just, like, Regal. Now this dress is may or may not be our cup of tea to wear, but it's uh, pretty darn ornate with the pleats and all this. This probably was for her second marriage. 
So she was married to George for 18 years until he passed away. And then she married a minister and he uh, only lived a couple of years before he passed away. And when he passed, here she is with her two ribbons expressing and showing mourning of the loss of her two husbands. Will had to put in his will that if his three sons didn't want the house, it was to be, it was to be destroyed. This whole place here was slated for a demolition. And the historical group saw this house and said, this is an important family, this is an important house. We gotta save it. So agreements got made, land trades were made, whatever, and they set aside 205 acres for this property. It really takes a village to run this whole place. It's a whole group of people. So Henry and William both went to Union High School number two, which is now known as Washington High School. And then Henry went to UC Berkeley. And William went to Stanford. He was on the football team. Oh, so wow. I mean, there might Which be one little, is he? He's this one right here. They might have had a little rivalry. You never know. Oh, that's <laughs> actually really cool. Now the trip about this guy is, you know how he got to Stanford? Huh. He took his schooner. He went down to the water's edge and took a boat across the way to get to school. <laughs> Wait, to get to school every day, or? I don't know if he did every day or even once a week, but still, you know, that just still, just the idea of taking, of commuting to school by yeah. like, what? <laughs> okay, so now we're doing like kind of a time portal thing here. Here, this is 1889, Queen Anne Victoria, Queen Anne Victoria, and, um, and then here we are going down into 1915, because there's plumbing. So this is the baby bathtub, that's a really popular oh, wow. uh, thing. Yeah, they had the three daughters, but even after the daughters, got older they still kept that but I they might have washed clothes or wash dogs or whatever i've never seen a baby bathroom. yeah i know i didn't even know they existed yeah well i think they're pretty rare because this didn't even exist this part here this is all 1915. they built this when the kids um came along there's both several things in here are actually patterson originals like the uh, rocking horse and they have a canary so we have a little canary oh, wow. canary i like those pictures of the canary so that little bird that the kid had right there used to hang out there. That's so cute. All right, so we come over here. There's several things I can point out to you, like this keep uh, watch fob and necklace and those hair art uh, wall hangings. Those, that's hair art. Yep, and that is as well that brooch. Now, why would people do stuff with like that with hair? That's just loved so, ones right when they died well it, some of it was because people passed away and they wanted to keep a little bit of a memory of them and otherwise they, were, they moved away or there was a family tree they wanted to record or a group of friends they wanted to record if you had photography you might still only get four pictures taken in your lifetime one might be even after you passed away what about the time before there was photography i mean it wasn't even around it wasn't even yeah. a concept how would you possibly remember people so let's say there's a group of friends and each one of them learned how to make a different kind of flower and they could make a wall hanging that would show the um all their friendship and they each of them could have one for their house or let's say you know this is to represent this is grandpa's hair and this is junior's hair and this is aunt babel's hair or what have you trying to explain this to kids is really funny because it's like you guys are the most photographed generation in the history of the planet you can have four <laughs> pictures taken between breakfast and lunch how are you know how are you supposed to realize what it's like not to have photography at all so when it rained outside they actually bowled upstairs in the attic they had a bowling alley pins and balls what? so that's kind of fun they also had a dance party for graduation so they lugged a 60 pound Victrola upstairs and they danced. Wow. Oh, oh there. So cool. So Diane's going to complete the tour. Okay. So here we are in the kitchen. Added in 1915. Added a kitchen in 1915. Yeah. Was there a kitchen before? I'm sure, but I don't know much about it. Now we've got the water. We've got electricity, so they were able to build a nice modern kitchen. And then our lovely wood-burning stove. You know, you would build a fire in that side. And here is where you do the baking. There's no gauges or anything. It would just be experience and knowing, you know, is it hot enough to bake, yes or no. And then all of the implements of the time. So like I said, there's electricity. So we've got a toaster. A toaster. This one's wow. really cool because you can flip your toast. Oh, that's so cool. Oh. Yeah, I love that one. <laughs> and this is for making butter. And then, do you know what this is for? Ice cream? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so you put your ice cream ingredients in here and then pack it with ice and salt. And crank for like an hour. Jeez. Maybe longer. Imagine that. We've been eating ice cream every night for like four days straight. Imagine if we have to crank for an hour every night before movie night. But you build your muscles. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
And then this is their refrigerator. So a man would come several times a week to deliver ice blocks, and you put the ice blocks in the bottom. And then that's just a sample of some stuff that's still around what? today. So next time you have a Tootsie Roll, Jello. you can appreciate it. It's been around a long time. Wow. Like for Coca-Cola, you've heard about Coca-Cola. Used to really have cocaine in it. That's what made everybody so energized, right? Yeah. yeah. Drink a coke and get your energy back. Get your health back. <laughs> That's insane. So this is the pantry. Uh, it's got a few notable things in it. This is Clara's high school diploma. It's a little bit unusual for the time because women, not all women, were educated that way. Yeah. Clara traveled in her later years, and she collected these spoons in all her travels. What Everybody always likes to shell one. <laughs> it's just, yeah, it's, yeah, it's interesting really for sure. So, uh, did Rena tell you this is the original house that George built? Yes. She told us there were parts that were added in the Right, so this is kind of like the heart of the original home right here. Okay. The second generation of Pattersons used it as a dining room. There was a, a thing that Claire's spoon collection had gone missing for many years. So a little boy that lived here when there was a caretaker living here in the 1960s thought this was a great place to hide. And so he goes in there, sees this button and goes, what's that? Oh, and it pops open the secret drawer. Oh, wow. And that's where all of Claire's souvenir spoons were hidden. And then this room That's over cool. here we've got set up, it's kind of like a smoking room. So where the, the gentleman would go, maybe to talk farm business and survey the land that George owns. About 3,000 acres right here. It's cool, man. It's yeah. Man, it's man cave. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Even the woodwork is a lot more simply done compared to the real elaborate stuff in the addition. Well, what's cool about this house is that a good majority of the furnishings and items are actually Patterson owned yeah. and they've done a really good job of restoring some of the rooms. All this was added in 1889, this edition over here. It's got a little library. These are like the real books that they had way back mm -hmm. before. These are like several generations of gotcha. Patterson books. It's actually really cool. Yeah. So Clara liked to read about a country before she traveled there. Yeah. Here's a photo of her in Egypt. And then again in, in Venice. So we'll play a little tune for you. And the only way you can turn it up is to open these doors. That's how you get the volume. Can I get copyrighted on this? <laughs> no, I don't. That's really neat. Isn't that good? Yeah. This is neat too, I've never seen that. Oh, yeah, wow. it's for reading. It really magnifies. And then this is the last room. This is the family parlor. So this is where the family could come at night, talk about what happened during the day. All the things that we did before television and the internet and things like that. Distractions. But it just shows the, the success of the farm. Yeah. yeah. You know, he was smart with his investments and smart managing the farm. I'd like to tell people it's the American dream. And you know, you can achieve it by being smart and doing the work and having some drive. All right, well, are you ready to get there? Yeah, make it happen, <laughs> young folks. You're still young, right? Yeah. Now's the time. Well, thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> bye bye. Bye. <laughs> okay, so Chris is going to the bathroom, and this is a line for fresh made ice cream. I think it's like freshly churned, so I'm gonna wait here and try to get some. Oh, look at the little kids turning the ice cream. <laughs> what flavor is this? This is pumpkin pie. Oh, thank you. How long does it take to make this? Of the cranky. Cool. Thank you. That's actually really good. And try it. <laughs> so good, it's huh? Actually really good. Wow. <laughs> oh my god, these are my favorite cookies ever. They're like a cornmeal cranberry cookie. Oh yeah, look at that. Thank you. Mm. All right, go ahead and try that cookie. Yeah, here we They're go. So good. For cornmeal. Mm. Cornmeal, was it cranberry? Yeah. Yeah. Every year, guys, I get these cookies. Oh, and here's the recipe for you guys, just in case you want to make them yourself. So we're on our way to the corn picking, got our gloves, and we found... A tractor. A big green tractor. Dude, I sing this song in like every video. <laughs> Look at this. It smells like toast. That's farm. 
toast. <laughs> so first we need to get our burlap sack. You say you know how yeah. to cook? Yeah. All right. Uh, pretty much there's the gloves Thank in case you, you want to cut your hands. Got her own. All right. you got it. <laughs> we're such nerds. Thank you. <laughs> Thank also, you. All right. You ready for this partner? Looks like we're gonna have to go. Let's deep. do it. Up above in my head. I am Instead ready. of going under. What are you? There's actual dust in these and now it's in my eyes. I am corn picking ready. I got my burlap set. Have you seen that movie? Feel the dreams. <laughs> Smart. <laughs> You're like guaranteed to roll an ankle in this. Oh my god, I found some! You gotta twist it right off. There you go. Yeah. Sack me. <laughs> oh, I can't do this with one hand. No, 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 I got it, I got it. The life of a vlogger is hard. Oh, yeah. Oh, you have all over your pants. That's the life of a farmer, babe. Life of a farmer, girl. Yeehaw, cowgirl. <laughs> All right, so we've got some popcorn, and now we're gonna grab some Indian corn. <laughs> That's over here, I think. <laughs> Found some Indian corn. Give you guys a little sneak peek of what it's gonna look like. Not the best specimen, but look at those colors. So pretty. It looks kind of that's why it's still here. Everyone else got all the good corn. But I just love the colors. Isn't that so fall? That makes me want to just eat pumpkin pie. Is that weird? Alright. Let's shut this corn. Do look at that. One down. However many more to go. There's a nice Indian corn. So pretty. Look at my little corn shucker. <laughs> the loot. When you see them rise, they stacked up like my eyes. Yeah, shoo. Go from the store to the boot. Make it all back in one loop. Give me the loop. My version of seven rings. All right, so we're gonna take all this corn. I think we're gonna head to the pumpkin patch, right? Yep. Let's do it. So normally, you only take one of these or a few of these and you fold it over and then you wrap some corn stuff around here to make a head so the water is used to soak them so you can bend them without having them break. I'm going to show you guys all the corn husk dolls 101 tips. So I have it folded over and now I'm going to take this and tie a little head out of it. And now I'm gonna take this piece and lace it right through so it's gonna be her arms. The corn has the all has And then we're gonna take some more of the string and wrap it around here. So now we've got our little lady and now she just needs a dress and some hair and we're all done. So I'm gonna take this piece and make it her dress. It's actually multiple pieces, so it has a little extra fluff. And then I'm gonna tie another string across here. Very nice. Look at her cute little dress. Are we done here? We could even give her a little headband. Oh my gosh. But hold on, we need some hair first. Also, normally you would tie these ends too, but who's got the time, so. What do you got there? I've got some hard. <laughs> Let's just do a little funky, funky little side he's going, Or she's a pirate. Oh, look at that, it's like a little bun. Very <laughs> strong. <laughs> <laughs> and there's my pretty little lady. Oh, let's name her Gertrude. She looks like she churns butter. Well, with all this bulk here, definitely. <laughs> Isn't she just the cutest? Here we are. This is huge. It's an enormous pumpkin patch. Look at this green pumpkin. That looks like a watermelon. <laughs> wow. Is it heavy? Not really. I just wanted to see you lift something. Mm. <laughs> oh my god. Let's do this maze. Is this where you start? Oh, that's where you come out. Okay. Oh, I'm for sure winning this one. 
Are you lost? Alrighty. Oh, hi. Are you sure this is the right way? There's no turn right here. Chris, everyone seems to be coming this way. Ah, whatever. <laughs> I already know how to get out. Do you? Yeah. I have a tall person advantage. <laughs> Oh, you already did it? Yeah. Did you plan this out before? Well, I can see. Cheater. <laughs> Cheater. Well, easy. ready to go? Yeah. That was a fun day. We're heading back to the car now because it's time to go home. We got some work to get done. I had a good time. I did too. It was that relaxing. Was fun. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it was kind of more low key, but if you guys did, make sure to give it a like down below and subscribe if you want to see more. Also, if you want to see more of me, you can follow me on Instagram at Annika underscore Helmer and him at Chris Thylan. You're tall, you can hold that. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys had a great time with us and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.